Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix 4 or 3 forbidden error on Google Chrome Android. Before we start, hurry up and check out these all for just on this video. Let's get started. So if you're getting the 4 or 3 forbidden error on your, in this case, on your Google Chrome, well, there are a few things I could try doing here. Now, first things first is you may want to clear the cache for your app or for Google Chrome. So you want to press and hold on Google Chrome here and you want to go to App Info. And you want to go and click on clear data bottom right here and click on clear cache. Now click on OK to confirm that. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and just start using Google Chrome here and see if that actually helps. But that's not where it ends here. Just in case if you're still having some problems, there are a few other things that you could try doing. So first things first is you want to make sure that the time that you've set here on your device is actually correct. So to be speaking, you could go ahead and click on your settings here. And you want to look for the time option to change your time. You could go into uh, your search here, type in time. And let's go ahead and change our time here. Let's go ahead and choose time. And you could go ahead and choose the set time automatically here. I highly recommend you to set time automatically. So if you're like, for example, if the time on your device here or the date itself is actually incorrect, this will actually prevent you to access uh, the internet. But that's why you're getting that forward tree for an error here. So make sure your time is actually correct here. So at least temporary if you can set this automatically. But yeah. So another thing that you may want to do here is you want to make sure that your internet connectivity is actually pretty stable. So if your internet connection is uh, really slow, maybe try switching to a different Wi-Fi connection or try using your mobile data just to see if that actually helps. Now, if you're only getting the 403 providing error on your uh, on a specific network only, it means that the problem itself is on that interconnectivity and not your phone. So you may need to change a few things on your router. But yeah, if you're getting this on all of or any uh, networks out there, well, the, in this case, there is one more setting that you could try changing here. So you want to go to settings there and you want to go ahead and go to more connectivity options and you want to go and click on private DNS. Now from here, you could go and choose the automatic option, but I'm assuming you all, you, you are already using that. But you could try using a custom host name, by the way. So you could go and click on custom name here. You could just add the following. It's going to be dns.adguard.com here, which is the uh, DNS provider host name. So you could go ahead and enter that, click on save here, and see if that actually helps. So by the way, this DNS actually prevents like uh, ads uh, in your phone. So you could go ahead and use that if you want. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.